Quad Nod, with its superior field of view, is king of all night visions. But its $40,000 price tag and regulations makes it notoriously hard to get. But what if I just make it digital? So, I DIY'd it. These are my DIY Quad Nut Night Vision Goggle DPMBGs. And the one I'm gonna show you in this video is Mark III. Mark III, with some compromise in specs, is an easy budget build version. This is how the internals of Mark III look like. An OV7725 camera is attached to the ESP32 cam board. The OV7725 camera has sensitivity of 3V per log second, which seems to be equivalent to 0.5 logs of minimum luminance. The image taken by camera is sent to round TFT display by SPI, and because there weren't any displays that are equally small, easy to use, but faster at the same time, frame rate of Mark III is limited to 30fps. I used the Google Cardboard lens to adjust the focus, and this time I added 2mm thick polycarbonate to protect the camera and the board. This is how it looks like in a pitch black basement. And yes, it does need an IR illuminator because the sensitivity of the camera is only 0.5 lux. To show you guys what it's like to see through quad nut, I attached a ESP32 based recording module in each node. While this module has almost the same field of view with Mark III, it uses OV2640 instead of 7725, which has 5 times less sensitivity. So keep in mind that the actual view is much more far and clear than the following footage. And this is how it looks like. Since humans have near peripheral vision of about 60 degrees, two cameras in the front are aligned together so that their views are completely overlapped with just a little offset. So the viewing angle of front two camera is 38 degrees. And because two cameras in the size are providing mid-peripheral view, which has much lower visual clarity, their views are not overlapped, which means the total horizontal field of view is 114 degrees. And this is a huge advantage, especially when it comes to situational awareness. This is great for going through a place with lots of obstacles. or shooting both per target. But there are also some downsides. Since this is a digital night vision and it provides only 30 fps, latency of Mark III is pretty big. Now 70 milliseconds of latency was okay for walking around the street or indoor, but you will certainly feel the delay if you try to move fast or do any kinds of tasks. And there's also some magnifications in short distances, because the camera is placed in front of the eyes about 10cm apart. So unlike Mark II, you need some time to get used to it. Now let's see how it does in the field. And sorry for the desync in this footage, since it was caught by a recording module, I wasn't aware of it until I got home and checked the result. Hmm. It's pitch black out here. And I think I can see up to like 10 meters or maybe 50 meters. It feels like it's about 30 to 45 degrees. Yeah, 30 FPS is not enough for hiking.
Okay, we got a stack wheel here. Let me just grab it. And pull it out. Oh, this, this guy is strong. Yeah. Seventy millimeters. Oh, there's one more. Yeah, he's one. Okay, I let him go. And let's move on. I'm wearing this for like an hour and a half right now, and it feels okay. Yeah, I don't actually feel any kind of pain at all. Well, of course, this is just a plastic. Trying to walk around the mountain with 30 FPS was exhausting, but it was still a fun experience and I will definitely do it again with other versions. So, conclusions. It's relatively cheap. You have great situational awareness. With IR Illuminator, you have decent view for up to like 10 meters, but not so much without it. You will feel some magnifications in short range, and you may notice some delay. If you are curious about how to make this thing, check out part 2, which will show you the whole process of it and will be uploaded in a day or two.